I want you to give some thought about all the things in your office where you think your team is happy and they're doing something and they're doing it to please you and they're doing it so they don't lose their job or the perception that they're going to lose their job. This is about you needing to sit down one-on-one -on -one with your team members, create a safe space, and then say to them, if I could wave my magic wand over you, your job, what things or thing could I take off your plate that would make you so much happier? Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. I'm your host, Dr. Glenn Krieger, and I'm going to blow your mind with the information I'm going to give you today about you and your team, because chances are you're unaware of what I'm about to tell you, and it could be playing a huge role in your practice. Now, I just came back from the AAO meeting, gave a lecture on AI, which I think people seem to like. Uh, if you were there, give me a shout out and let me know what you thought of it, but uh, the feedback seemed to be pretty good, and I showed some apps and fun stuff that most of the people in the room have never seen before, and there's some great stuff out there to help make your practice more efficient and uh, lower your stress. But the point of this 5-Minute Friday is to talk a little bit about a really interesting finding from running a booth at the AAO. Now, I have a, co a company called Remote Response. Uh, you've heard of it. It does remote monitoring. Uh, if you're a, a remote monitor or you're thinking about getting into dental monitoring, uh, we do the dashboard monitoring for you so your team doesn't have to. Now, People would come by, and our booth wasn't, in a, shall we say, not a very good spot. Uh, we were as far, as close to the bathroom as you can get, and way off the beaten path. So we didn't get a ton of traffic, but the conversations I had were meaningful. And a lot of you came just to visit, and I thank you for that. Um, and I would talk to team members, and they'd walk by, and they'd see my booth. And they would say, remote response, what's that? Say, well, you know, what we do is, you know, if you have dental monitoring or you're thinking of getting dental monitoring, you know, your team teaches them how to scan and we'll take over your dashboard. And, uh, and all you have to do is we'll cut your workload down by about 95% and we'll do it cheaper than you can do it. And they'd hear that. And the ones who didn't ever, you know, uh, interestingly, there were many teams had never heard of dental monitoring or remote monitoring at all. They didn't even know it was a thing. So that was interesting. And... There were two other kinds of conversations I had. The first were the ones who use remote monitoring, but they left it because it was, quote unquote, too much work. They couldn't figure it out. And we explained to them how we could help them there easily. And that's why we were formed. And there was a second one where the person would say, no, no, we've got it. We've got it handled. And in my conversations with many of you, this is what I hear from doctors. No, I got a gal or I got a team or we have a system. And this isn't about remote monitoring. I want to be crystal clear. I want you to listen. They would say to me, I'm the one who does the monitoring. It might be a group of four or five. You know how they walk around in gangs. <laughs> it's like a street gang walking down, trying to shake you down for candy or novelties or whatever it is you're giving out. But the one who was the, the DMC, you know, was the one, the dental monitoring coordinator would say, oh, I do it. Um, you're trying to put me out of a job. And I would say to her, no, 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 we're not trying to put you out of a job. Um, we're actually trying to make your life easier. You'll still have a job. You know, you'll still be our liaison. There's still things you have to do, but you'll be able to go back and do all the other things that you were hired to do, or you can go do other things in your life. And at that moment, when they knew they no longer lost their job, you'd see them. And this isn't one or two. This was like every single one of them. And they wouldn't tell their doctor. We talked about this with them. Every one of them would immediately say to me, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing because I am so over doing the monitoring. That's what they would say to me, right? And then typically the second person in the group would be like, yeah, when she's out of vacation, I have to do it. Now I'm not knocking remote monitoring, okay? Because we use it in our practice and it's amazing. That's not what this is about. This is about your team's honesty with you. Because this woman was clearly, women were clearly not thrilled, but they did it because the team wanted them to do it. The doctor wanted them to do it they're gonna keep their mouths shut. And I want you to give some thought about all the things in your office where you think your team is happy and they're doing something and they're doing it to please you and they're doing it so they don't lose their job or the perception that they're going to lose their job. And I think you need, and this isn't about remote monitoring, okay? This is not about dental monitoring or remote response. or anything. This is about you needing to sit down one-on-one -on -one with your team members, create a safe space, and then say to them, if I could wave a magic wand over your job on a day-to-day -day basis and be honest with me because you're not losing your job here. This is going to make your life easier. If I could wave my magic wand over your job, 
what things or thing could I take off your plate that would make you so much happier? Now, there's going to be things you can't take off their plate, right? Um, you know, tracking my aligner cases or tracking lab cases. Well, no, somebody's got to do that. And until you can find a robot or automation that completely takes them out of it, there's nothing you can do. But there might be other things that you hear about that you can outsource. And, you know, you could have a financial coordinator who's on the verge of quitting if you were able to outsource to something like, you know, an OrthoFi, which, by the way, I have a financial interest in. I want to be crystal clear. If you outsource to OrthoFi for that, you know, they may say, oh, my God, I can do so many other things for you, like marketing or growth. And that's the second half of this discussion is if you've got your best team member doing something, let's call it remote monitoring. And let's say she loves it and she's monitoring your dashboard and she's your best team member because you're not putting a, a, a crappy team member on something that important. Why in God's name are you having your best team member locked behind a dashboard monitoring patients um, that way? When you can outsource that and put your best team member on something that actually has a fire or something that can grow your practice, like marketing or, or running all the doctor events or running all the deliveries to the doctors or running your online social media campaigns or all the things that they can do way better for you that actually make money for you and grow the practice. So again, the takeaway here for this is two things. Number one, three things actually, I want you to stop and look at your systems and your practice and determine what are the things, where are the places where potentially someone may not be thrilled with what they're doing. Number two, sit down with each team member, you, you, not your, your practice dev developer, not your office manager, you, the one who's running the show, the name, the founder, you. Take five minutes, say, what's the one thing I can take off your plate if I could, if I could? And here are the answers you, you have. And then, number three, figure out how to make it happen. Figure out where they're more valuable. Because do I care about paying a percentage of my collections to OrthoFi, let's say, for collections, or paying a, a flat fee or something to remote response when I can have that person making way more money for me per year and lowering my stress in a much bigger way by having them do something different. So again, most of us don't give this thought. And if you do, great for you, but I'm telling you, you're not, all right? I know you guys. I have hundreds and hundreds of conversations with you. If you're somebody who actually stops and tries to figure out how to optimize your employees when you're working short staffed, most of us, I'm gonna call BS on that one, all right? Most people, I've never met anybody actually who's doing that. So please, Optimize your team members for what, they, what they're best suited to do so that you can outsource the things you need to outsource so you don't have to have a bigger team and use the people you have to do more and better and places that fit their sweet spot, not monitoring or you know, doing, chasing people for credit cards who haven't paid. So this isn't about dental monitoring. This isn't about remote response. You can come up with literally dozens and dozens of outsourcing programs, apps, companies, consultants that will help make your burden easier. I had Alex Waldman on from my ortho VA a while back. Like he could find you virtual assistants for things that you could take other people in the office and have them doing other things. So that's your homework, those three steps. Much love to each and every one of you. And if you want to find out more about remote monitoring, just hit me up on Facebook or you can always text me on my cell. 469-610-9920. I've given it out for anybody who's struggling with depression or anxiety and needs to chat. And I'm giving it to you here if you want to talk to me about remote response. There's no pressure. I'm just trying to help you live a better, more profitable, lower stress life. That's it. Take my suggestions on this one, folks. I'm telling you, it's a biggie. Much love to each and every one of you and speak to you soon.